Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you an exquisite home worth 16 and a half million euros done by Antima and it's going to be a delight so stay tuned and let the detailed drone shots impress you. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the front of the house, the main entry from the street level. Directly we have a carport here. There's of course a garage for numerous cars. The basement's insane. You might have seen it already in the detail shots, so stay tuned for the full tour. This would be the main entry into the home. Love the wooden door. Just a super welcoming entry and of course, a complete wraparound section here as well. You can walk to the swimming pool. Everything's perfectly manicured. You've got these palm trees just popping up. Kind of gives you, I know, Malibu vibes. I love it. It's so fresh, it's so cool. Let the tour begin from inside. Come on. Wow, like I said, wooden doors are beautiful. All the handles are custom made for the home. A lot of details, guys, that we're gonna be talking about throughout the entire tour. First, we have a guest toilet here, which is already signaling the standard that we're gonna be seeing throughout the entire house. So let's have a quick look. Beautiful, and what cannot be missing is a coat room to my right. Now let's continue because as a lot to see, we have six bedrooms, over 1,600 square meters of built area and a plot of uh, 3,100. So it's a big home, but it's been beautifully staged to make you really feel homey. Now, you're seeing a good light here. That's because of the enormous skylight flooding me with light. This entire corridor that stretches to the kitchen, three bedrooms there, plus a staff apartment beneath. And just behind my brother are two for the bedrooms, one being the main. Now entering into the formal living room area, but before we do, we've got the industrial glass doors that sort of pivot and open and close. And you can do that with all three, giving you that effect of see-throughness and of course, making it more airy. Now let's look at this room, come on. This is the captivating former living room. First thing you notice, you have these solid wooden beams, the airiness of the room, fireplace with stone cladding, and everything in the Antima perfection when it comes to style and design. Let me show you where everything started. I'm gonna burst your bubble, ladies and gentlemen. I did not play the piano. It wasn't me, it was a cover up, but hey. We got to impro, right? We've got open shelving here, cupboard spaces, natural light that is flooding this room, big coffee table, two couches that look out to the stunning view of La Serquilla, golf courses, and of course the sea. This is the stone cladding on the fireplace I mentioned. And what's really cool, and this is something Patrick and I, we are big fans of, is a hidden sort of bar area right here. Voila. So you got your guests here, you invite them to your former living room area, you make a little dry martini, get the alcohol flowing, you know, that's just how you do it. And of course, open shelving, indirect lighting with LED, stunning. And now we can just take a moment to appreciate 
the depth and the size of the living room area. Big fan. We have also sliding glass doors that open. We're going to be showing you the outdoor area at a later stage, so stay tuned and hold your horses. Dining area. Nice illuminated. Let's quickly point out these doors come in very convenient because if you want to sectionize the areas, you can do that. Now we have a dining table bench made, solid for 10 people. And of course, everything is super nice in the design, airy, fresh. We have an entire console here under which plates are found. So storage is also present. And yeah, full ceiling, indirect lighting. Beautiful. This here, by the way, leads you to the hallway or to the dirty kitchen that we're gonna be showing you later. But now, let's focus on this. This is the favorite part of the house for me. And let me explain you. Firstly, we have a chill out area here. One landing with a TV and a fireplace, open shelving. It's just a place you would have your kids relax, watch some cartoons whilst you are cooking in this designer kitchen. And this kitchen is absolutely mad and so effortless at the same time. First, let's point out the obvious. Got the waterfall feature here with the natural stone on the humongous kitchen island. We have a champagne sink, one sink here, two for the sinks there. Obviously the induction, gas fire as well, here for the wok. Everything you need is present. And they even gave us a little bit of bread. You have the sockets with USB, Patrick? USB? Yes, USB. USB and sockets. Yeah, welcome Patrick in there. He's the cameraman today and every other day <laughs> we have more working space here. This is the corridor that leads to the main entry where we have been and two for the bedrooms at the far end. And of course the two sinks and just a quick attention towards all the carpentry here and how beautifully it's been executed. The hinges are from Danspan, the kitchen's been done by them as well. So great. And look at this for instance here. Do you see the handles, how elegant they are? Now, Antima basically does everything from furniture to little items that we will be discussing throughout the entire house. They have a company called Sandon and they produce furniture, which is done in Spain, locally crafted by craftsmen that have been doing it since four generations in Sevilla and they do fantastic jobs. So that's also a great thing for you guys to know. Now, this is your snug area. I love it, L-shaped couch, kind of sunken in, you got your dining table, and just a really cozy place to have your morning breakfast and just come and read a book and relax. Patrick, what do you think? I fully agree. Would I you like, like that you would have you two like... sitting arrangements, one here for the breakfast, the other one for more the chilling after school, for example, for your kids to sit there and be a part of the family. Yeah, like I said, this space is so utile. It basically combines everything together. More cupboard areas, and here, there is a pocket door, by the way. Behind it, we have two further bedrooms which are slightly more independent, and I'll explain you why now. This door leads out to the front of the house where we started the tour, so you can access these two bedrooms via this door. And first bedroom that we're gonna explore is here, so let's go. This is beautiful. It's not overwhelming, but the colors are just so smoothing, and to be honest, the color coding of the entire house is fantastic. The baseboard, for instance, that just smooches into the wallpaper, which also has a slight salmon coloring within it. The pillows, which are matching. Everything here is, you know, flawless. What do you think? And very well balanced. Yeah, that's exactly, that's the word that I was actually looking for. It's balanced, so it's not overwhelming. We also have a little snug area here and of course some cupboard spaces. So that is bedroom number one. The bed's also on a big carpet. That's a lot of carpet going on in this house. Now, this is the bathroom, natural stone vanity, axon taps and fittings, of course, big mirrors, scones, and the same marble plastered on the walls within the shower. I'm just gonna open it up and show you how spacious it really is. This one's actually from Guhona, and the toilet's there. Not so important. Now this would be bedroom number two, slightly bigger than the first bedroom we have seen and the same applies here. Color coding is fantastic. The interior design is throughout. You've got the same wallpaper play going on which works with all the other color elements of this room. And yeah, fun fact actually, there are very little walls in this house which 
are blank. Most of them have either wood on them or wallpaper, which is just nice. Let's open this up for a second. So we have the LED strips, those would be your cupboards, the shelves underneath with soft clothes. Perfect. Closing that, let's quickly jump into here because we have a beautifully executed ensuite bathroom for this one. We've got oh, such a nice natural stone vanity axe or fittings here. Drawer set up right underneath, toilet and the shower and this time you've got the little stones here. Mosaic backsplashed. a little bit. Sorry? Mosaic. Yeah, a little sort of mosaic play going on. Superb and soft close on every door. Boop. That's all. That's basically what you need in a home as luxurious as this one. This door would lead you to the garden. Like I said, there's a wraparound path throughout the entire house. So from here, you can also just walk directly to the swimming pool, lounge areas, etc. And here we would have the last bedroom on the left side of the house on the main level. Let's look. Wow. Once again, super illuminated bedroom, nicely designed, spacious. This time they went for a more modern looking sliding wooden door with the industrial looking feature above, which is quite nice. I like it. And it also welcomes you to the bathroom with a two sink setup, drawers underneath, the same sort of mosaic setup in the shower, a toilet and both can be closed with a glass door. I'm just gonna set an example like this. Voila. And that is it. We still have one bedroom in the basement, which is a complete sort of apartment for your helper or a nanny, whatever you need. You've got the space underneath and the laundry room. Let's look. Even the stairs here are out of natural stone. You've got the lighting just underneath, nicely illuminating the path. This would be your laundry room, which is just a Fantastic looking laundry room, Jesus Christ. You've got the natural stone on the countertop here, the sink. This little bath here is not for babies, it's actually for your dogs. Very handy if you have dogs. And of course, this sort of glossy looking tiling backsplashed. Two of each, a dryer and a washer, all from Miele. Lot of storage spaces, cupboards that you pop open, like here. <laughs> The typical thing you expect to be within a laundry room. Elegant, I like it. It's really sweet. And then we have an independent sort of studio. Let's look. Cupboard spaces, toilet, and this bedroom, which would be, as I said before, for your nanny, bed, couch, coffee table, and your own kitchen. Got your induction, the oven, the sink, space for the fridges, cupboard, and your Morning dining, dining table. table. I mean, is this fantastic or what? It's got everything you need. And a beautiful ensuite bathroom. You can see the indirect lighting right underneath the drawer setup. The same natural stone is on this. Wow. What is, what is your thought on this um, automatic switch on? For the lights? Yeah, with the sensors. I think it's pretty cool. It comes in very handy if you think about it, because I'm someone who forgets to switch lights off and on. So when you have an automatic system doing it, it's pretty convenient. What I think about you? Night is quite cool. Oh yeah. All right, we're right, done. That's it. Let's go. Let's go back up. <laughs> so this entire section is for your staff. Now, if Patrick scooches out a little bit, this is what I mean. Wallpaper is basically everywhere. You've got the baseboards, which are in harmony with the other color coding throughout the entire house. The pocket door, the wooden framing. It's just a flawless ex execution. Wow. All right, let's continue because there's still a lot to show you. The passageway, but before we go there, we also have here a pantry, sort of your dirty kitchen with an industrial fridge inside. Another fridge here, a freezer actually. Cupboard spaces, wine fridge. All right, so we are now going down this corridor, but before we come to the last two bedrooms we're gonna be showing you. Let's just open real quick the cupboards here and show you that it has LED that pops up. A lot of covered spaces, which is great. We have the natural stone and a herringbone pattern laid out 
entirely until the end, which is a nice feature, makes it more warmy and welcomey. And everything here, like I said, either paneled with wood or with wallpaper. This is the main entry once again, light flooded with the skylight that you've probably seen with the drone shot. So we've got that present. And another bedroom, which would be bedroom number five. Let's have a look at it. Here, once again, the same applies. Even the book, right, matches the wallpaper. So you have to understand the eye for detail they went through to find a book that matches the wallpaper to add on to the decor of the side table. The bed framing, the extra wooden paneling to separate the space, fantastic. And down here we have cupboards all the way till here. Cupboards even cushioned. Some are cushioned, some are not. Nice. And this, which is your two sink vanity setup with drawer setup underneath, indirect lighting, big mirror, shower, toilet, everything is present here. And the same sort of tiling, glossy tiling that we've already seen once. That's basically it with this bedroom. If you liked it so far, give us thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section below what you think. Before we finish this level off with the main bedroom, let me quickly point out that this staircase leads you down to the basement with a indoor swimming pool, infrared sauna, steam room, an amazing cinema room, a garage, a gym. gym everything so they went full out and i'm mind blown by that part so we're going to be looking at it very soon now this door leads you into the main bedroom and i just wanted to point out the door because everything here is custom made by sandon and antima so you will not find a replica like this anywhere else it's not a commercial thing it's something that the craftsmen have been doing since four generations they order specific designs done by antima and yeah like the door handles for instance it's just super cool. I just wanted to point that out. I like the glass. Yeah. It's very fresh. I've not seen this before. Indeed so. Main bedroom, let's have a look. All right, let's explore the walk-in closet here. Two big consoles for your socks, for your underwear, whatever floats your boat here. A lot of great illumination. You see the wood has been lacquered. You've got the recessed lighting illuminating everything perfectly. You have two sections, basically one here and one there, subdivided for, you know, if you partnered up with someone, you'd have one there and one here. And of course your entire makeup area here, greatly positioned because natural light comes in, giving you that nice look on your face to powder up. That's basically it for the walk-in closet. We still have this entire ensuite bathroom. Incredible floating two sink vanity. I think this might be Korean, I'm not sure, but I'm very, actually pretty sure it is. Now these little things, for instance, also so fancy for you. Your, your sticks, or your toothbrushes, also custom made by Sandon. You've got the wooden paneling drawer underneath, pop it open, You've got the toilet paper custom made for the house. <laughs> Jokes aside, indirect lighting, natural floor, laid out here natural stone that also continues all the way up to the humongous shower. I mean, this is big Axor fittings, niche for your shampoos and a rain shower. Now, if you're not you know, a big fan of rain showers, you can also pop into your clawfoot bath and just enjoy a moment of peace and tranquility whilst or before you've done your business here because this is also a very posh toilet, by the way. It's, you know, one of these Japanese toilets. You take this and then it'll splash. Yeah, but take it out because it's an actual joystick. Yeah, so you can choose what function you need or want and desire. Cool. But one thing before we get out of here. Tell me. And you just skip by, was this huge mirror here. Oh yeah, and maybe it's time for you to say who you are, Patrick. For those who are new to our channel. I'm Patrick and Hence the camera and the cameraman. And my brother, because yes. we are the Maharo brothers. But yeah, it's, it's really nice that you have a big, big, big mirror like this. It's humongous and you can actually really tell the style. Pants are becoming too short. I think I washed them too warm. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Because we also have the main bedroom to show you. This is a separational wall and also serves as the bed frame 
for the bedroom we're going to be showing you now. Super illuminated, window, 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 glass lighting doors, nice and bright. We've got this separational wall that I was explaining before, king-sized bed. Once again, the continuation of the style and interior design with the wallpaper that matches the circling, outer circling of the lamp here. It's fantastic also. Ooh, really nice carpet, wood laid out in this room as well. Fantastic. We also have a fireplace, a TV setup, more space here to put your pictures in. Shelves, the LED strip. You're probably seeing that as well at night. And if you are, give a thumbs up for the extra effort. Glass sliding door that leads you out to the patio and the garden area. We'll come to that, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do, I would say, let us show you the basement. So let's go. Now, before we leave the main bedroom, let me show you really quickly a living room chill out area that belongs to the main bedroom. We have sort of a coffered ceiling, big round mirror, open shelving, TV, fireplace, nice coffee table. Once again, maybe we can show the sort of carpet that is also in many other rooms, just bringing extra warmth to the entire layout and an access point out to the terrace. These doors, ladies and gentlemen, welcome you back to the main living room area. This is a little bit of a detour, but it also gives me some time to tell you guys about the waiting list that Antima has. They have a lot of people who are waiting for homes as such to be finished and constructed to buy them because Morbea is lacking really posh homes. And they're, you know, from 10 to 30 million in that sector in the most prime locations like we are now, La Serquia. They built some dream homes. Patrick, should we show them the basement? Yes, we show. It's that way. No, it's that way. Oh yeah, oh my God, it's so big. 1,600 square meters, I'm getting lost. That's maybe, why you have me, Dominic. Maybe I'm just so fascinated by the beauty of this. This staircase leads you down to the basement. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look. We are not somewhere in Geneva in a five-star spa hotel. We are in a private home done by Antima. And this is the sort of luxury that you can expect when you get a home done by them. I mean, just look at this. This is absolutely insane. You have the ceiling cove with starlights. LED strips going throughout. A lot of natural stones plastered onto the walls, a fireplace, a swimming pool. Right at the far end, we have a infrared sauna. Let's actually look at it. And you smell, there's no humidity. There's special systems installed to suck out the wet air. Let's look at this one because, wow. So what, you heat up, big time here, and then you jump into your pool, or as Patrick would do, you're gonna switch on the infrared. Patrick's oh. doing something. What you can also do, there is a plunge pool, which is super duper cold, that I'm gonna be showing you now. So once you're done with this, you jump into the plunge pool, which is right here. Let me switch on the light. There you go. You ready for this? It's like a little cave, follow me. We have a plunge pool here and a jacuzzi there. Nice. And you've got a lot of these candles, probably seeing it at night. You switch them on and this entire place becomes super romantic and it'll did add. You on the, the oh, you did? Wow. Look at that. Patrick would go into the cold plunge pool, I'd be going into the jacuzzi, I'd switch off the lights and just leave the skylights on. And I'll just be dreaming away. Dreaming of a world where I could afford a home done by, by Antima and furnished by Sandon. Because I mean, come on, just look at this. This is absolutely dope. Got these two lounge chairs over there, an entire section there which has a sink. It also probably has a lot of storage for your towels, drink your water, a fridge, whatever floats your board. Let me just quickly show you guys what I mean. So you would have here a cucumber water. You drink it, you lie down, you relax, you wash your hands. And just the wood, the color of it as well, goes so well in sync with the backsplashed natural stone that goes throughout. I'm, uh, 
I'm loving this area. I think it's pretty cool. Gonna close it because that's not it. We still have this room to show Just you. Just a private cinema room, ladies and gentlemen. And look how nicely it's been done. Got the black pillows, which work super well with the black framing to subdivide the wall. Got the wallpaper that's throughout the entire cinema room. A lot of spaces. Now I like that it's kind of big, but it's not too big, making it cozy at the same time. And Beamer. Patrick, what do you think? Oh, wow. Tell us what you think whilst we also show this little gaming zone here. Yeah, I really like how cozy it is and also the brown is the type of brown I would also have chosen for this room, definitely. It's like creamy. It's like golden. Golden brown. creamy, yeah. And it's laid out with carpet throughout. Obviously, you have an installed sound system throughout the entire cinema room and pocketing or pocket doors to close the space down fully. What can't be missing is a toilet, so a quick glance into it. One thing, vanity, toilet, shower. And down this corridor, we have this room. Let's have a look at it real quick. Because if you are in a privileged home as such, what cannot be missing is your own hair saloon. I mean, I just sometimes I'm so mesmerized on all the luxury that people have in their homes. It's quite impressive. I mean, I have to get into the car and drive 20 minutes to get to my hairdresser. But don't forget, if you have a house like this, you do not really have too much time. And if you do have time, you want to spend it as qualitative as possible. For instance, in here, while someone is giving you a real good squeeze, I mean, this is insane. Like I said, this isn't a five-star hotel somewhere in Switzerland. A spa hotel is in your private home. It's, I'm, I don't even know what to say, but the elegance, even how they went for the black natural stone element here just to give this room a little bit more drama. It's fantastic. Now let's continue because we also have a quick glance into this room, Patrick. Yeah. What, what, what do you do after relaxing? You do, oh, fuck, it's so cold in here. You drink. It's a climatized <laughs> wine cellar. It's super nice and cold here. Obviously the wine is missing, but you get the drift. And yeah, Patrick, after you relax, you I drink. Mean, we had really, really warm days. And I just read that it's supposed to get even 40 degrees in some parts of Spain. Crazy. So a room like this could also come handy for other reasons. Yeah. This would be your gym toilet. Patrick once already explained why it's important to have a toilet close to your gym. Because, you know, bowel movements, squatting. You can use your imagination what I'm trying to say without saying it. Now this is the entire gym area. Minimalistic. Techno gym appliances, clean. This thing works wonders if you want to make your booty big. Got your stepper. But actually, before we head over there, let's just look at this real quick. It's also very nicely executed. Got the mirror and the backdrop, cupboard spaces, the towels in case you need them, the indirect lighting, recess lighting, and of course, the wooden paneling on the wall next to the big mirrors because of course you do want to be a bit narcissistic and look at yourself once you trained. Now we know techno gym but let's focus on these dumbbells which Antima have customly created and are going to be setting up the homes with which are really elegant dumbbells. Sweet. Love it how it's in this wooden touch as well. And of course here you've got the weight sizes and so forth. More open shelving for your towels, bike. This is a walking machine, no? I don't even think it's for running. Running machine. Ah, this is great. What is this, Patrick? This is um, a press, a leg press. Leg press, it is indeed. TV setup and of course your bench press here. And to press. Yeah, the multi-press and something to train your lats as well. Right over here. Everything you need is in this gym. And the good thing is from the gym, you also have a big window that points out to the garage. So we are gonna be showing you now. This is the toilet. Now, right, this would lead you to the garage. So let's have a look. Wow, got your plug for the Tesla or for any electrical car. Like I said, Patrick, just turn quickly around because this glass window here 
lets you look into your swimming pool area or vice versa from there outwards. And the same goes for the gym that we have just seen. Now we have the wooden paneling that goes throughout. I said a lot of the walls have been paneled with either wood or other materials such as stone or even wallpaper. And this is the area like you can see right now where you would position your fancy sport car nicely illuminated, giving the light and giving it some sort of dramatic look. And that would be the access point. We also have a really nice machinery room. Sometimes you are like, you guys, viewers, why are you not showing the, you know, rooms, the technical rooms? Because they're not nice, but this one is really nice. So let's have a look. It's a little bit loud in here. But this entire machine has been suspended on springs so that it catches all the vibrations. So this room is noise isolated and vibrational isolation. So it's just super quiet. Yeah. Here you have all the setup and how things work. I mean, this is beautiful. Even the piping here. The piping indicates whether it's hot water, cold water. Obviously red is hot. And then how to open and unopen the valves. You can eat from the floor here. It's a sterile, super nicely done room. And when you close it, you forget it ever existed. Yeah, now we we're can, back we in the garage. You forget that this is actually the heart of the house. 100%. It's the machine room. And you know what, sometimes when you look at the machine room and you're like, this ain't good, you kind of expect that the other execution from the other parts of stuff, technical stuff, cannot be done as thorough. But here, if you saw that room, you kind of know what to expect for the rest of the plumbing, piping, electrical layouts, and so forth. Now, guys, time has come to show you outside, so let's go. There is no wonder at all that there's a waiting list for clients who want to have a home done by Antima because it's just setting another standard of luxury here in Marbella. Now let's look at the outdoor area. Wow. Now, nicely covered, you've got a seating area here. Once again, the same roof line that we saw within the house we have here with the exposed wooden beams. Just over there, maybe we should go one step closer. We have the outdoor dining area, which is just adjacent to your formal dining area and the kitchen. And around that corner, we have offset from the kitchen, another outdoor dining area with a seating possibility, your barbecue setup, and this entire console that stretches out to the sink and the entry to the kitchen. And as I said before, you can wrap around the entire house with the pathway that we have shown you. Look at the views. Let's start off with the views. The views are insane. We're looking at golf courses, the sea, a lot of greenery, and of course this entire pit down here where you can come, relax. There's probably gonna be a fire pit, it's still missing, but you get the drift. Got all your friends here, got the cocktails, you're relaxing, and you're looking at this beautiful swimming pool which is part of your home with the pavillon at the far end, the infinity edge just there. Wow. And you can see that the entire sunken and pit here is also wrapped around with water, just part of the swimming pool water. And yeah, I mean, this is great. Let's continue. Sunbeds and sunbeds in the pool. You've also seen, got another sunbed in the water right over there. Let's have a look at it. Just here, more lounge beds. And of course, wrapping around, we come, probably gonna have to show that to you as well later. We'll be showing you that the main bedroom also has a little private terrace. And what, how should I go through the water, bro? <laughs> Let's go this way, come on. <laughs> Badly choreographed, guys, my apologies. This is the pavilion I mentioned before, where you can come enjoy some shade at night, make a fire, watch some TV, relax, or just chill after you jumped into the pool. Wow. 
So guys, if you enjoyed today's tour, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, comment in the description box, and thank you for your time. Now guys, also, if you are looking to acquire a beautiful home done by Antima, we left the contact details and website links in the description box, or if you're looking to refurbish your home with Sandon furniture, we also left that for you in there. Now guys, this home, as beautiful as it is, it's not for sale, so don't bother trying to get it. Big thanks to my brother Patrick for shooting me today and every other day. Big love to you and last words also to you. <laughs> it was a beautiful day. Thank you very much for everyone who made it possible. La Concha there in the back, the beautiful property from Antima. It was a great day and yeah, guys, stay tuned. My brother's already chilling over there and we see you next time. So, peace.